XYZ Cafe in the all new watering hole of Hyderabad. This is a massive place with almost 300 covers sprawling over the floor. Uh, you can, I'm sure you can hear some pulsating music in the background. We've had some great food and cocktails. So Fuzzy Cafe is the place to be in my mind. Let's check this out. journey in fact we're very very excited uh, you know Hyderabad has always been very close to our heart uh, it's a city we've always wanted to be at because we know the sophistication of the palette of the people here very well traveled wonderful clientele that's very warm and friendly so it's a place that we've really been looking forward to the restaurant has been uh, under construction for about a year and it's, it's a middle. huge huge place yeah it's a big space it's one of the largest restaurants uh, that we have uh, it's uh, in fact out of all the farzis is the largest farzi so definitely something that's uh, uh, it's taken its time, but we're we're hoping that it's been worth uh, the wait. Okay, so I've been to the Farsi in Delhi and Gurgaon. What is uh, different about the menu here? Menu is quite different. Like I said, um, you know we love the local food of of Hyderabad, of course. Apart from the biryani, it's got so much other food that has got so much uh, sophistication, uh, culinary philosophy, uh, legacy, and yeah. we wanted to celebrate all of that at Farsi. We wanted to take some of the dishes that are very close to the hearts of the people of Hyderabad, but okay. then give them a little of a, a little bit of a Farsi twist, okay. give them a little bit of an innovative uh, touch, and and make them taste the same but look very different, and in, incorporate some different types of ingredients or techniques. So it's been a fabulous journey. Whichever city we go to, we always take a lot of the dishes and we give them a Farsification injection. So that's what we've done here, and we're we're hoping that some of these favorites that you guys have grown up eating. When Definitely. you try them here, they'll they'll be familiar yet unique. Okay, uh, one more thing, Zarab. Are you very passionate about uh, getting Indian food on the global platform? So how are you so convinced about this? And do you think it is still an unexplored arena? Of course, it's completely un unexplored, and I think it's uh, we haven't even. Uh, you know, touch the tip of the iceberg yet. So I think uh -huh. from a perspective of putting Indian food on the global palette, that's what's been my personal crusade since the time I started this business. That remains my clear, clearly defined uh, number one priority, number one goal for me and my company. And we love our Indian food. Uh, we know that it's the greatest cuisine on earth. Now it's about time that we open great restaurants across the world so that the rest of the world recognizes that fact. And at least it's considered to be at the level that, it, that we feel it should be. It's got a perception problem by opening restaurants like Parsi Cafe that give it a modern twist, that give it a more youthful twist, okay. that give it, uh, you know, modernization, that bring them, bring the cuisine into the 2020s. I think that's the correct way to put Indian food uh, uh, everywhere. And uh, we're looking forward to that. We've already opened in Dubai, which has been a magnificent success. Mm -hmm. We're actually blown away by the results. Now we're opening in London by March. We'll be open in London and about seven other countries in the Middle East. So we're very excited about this whole aspect of putting Indian food on the global palette. We feel it's our responsibility and we will not stop and we will never tire till we achieve this goal. Okay. Your father has been a legendary figure in uh, the Indian cuisine scenario. So uh, how important was it for you to reinvent his legacy and give it a new form, which you have done very successfully? We didn't reinvent his legacy, we reinvented the food that he was working on. Okay. But yeah, his legacy is very strong. 30 years of unrel unrelenting effort, mm -hmm. um, you know, love, care, a sense of responsibility towards Indian food. Yes. That's what made him do what he did. He's really done, I think, more for Indian food than anybody else, mm -hmm. especially on a global platform. Uh, he's, written, he's written books that are considered the Bibles for, for all chefs. 
across the country and he's he's really done what I think if I do even an iota of what he's done, I'll feel that I've done something for my cuisine and my country. So from that perspective, uh, we don't like to meddle with his uh, his legacy at all. We <laughs> definitely like to meddle with his recipes. We take his recipes they always from the basis for all that we do, and then right. we do our little old modern, our own modern twist to them. Okay. So what are the future plans? Any new projects on the order? Future plans for Parsi are very very aggressive. Like okay. I said, we're going to be in about uh, overall eight or nine different countries by the end of March of 2018. Wonderful. Uh, within India, we're going to be in uh, about seven cities, seven new cities apart from the ones we already in. So we're in about four cities, so another seven. And uh, our other brands, Papaya, Coat, Masala Library, these will also all be traveling across the country and overseas. So overall, we're looking at about 25 new restaurants in the calendar year of 2018. Great, that's great going. Thank you so much. Thank you.